That was a class. Hey, everybody. It is currently 9.03. Uh, we got Saturday Night Dynamite on the TV. Um, it's, today's been a, a hell of a day, to say the least. Um, what day would it, What kind of day would it be if I didn't make a video of it? So, um, Here we are. Uh, like I said, Dynamite is muted, but Sean in the background. Um, I don't know how to edit my videos the way Jake does, but hopefully you guys can send still see me. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. But, uh, the reason for the video, uh, <laughs> not only they catch things like that. <laughs> Stand up and do it right to the camera. And use the spray. Where'd you put the spray? Oh my god, that sounded wet as hell. <laughs> the reason for the video was suddenly it all felt so hard. I'm sorry. Subject. Oh, um, is because we are doing this. It's uh the Trains Magazine powerful locomotive flash cards, oh, and Mr. Um, Gill. I believe it involves mostly six eleven. <laughs> But besides that, I'm not... You should make this picture. The... The... Fuck. Oh, I already broke the seal or something. Okay. Here we go. Alright, Adam, you ready? I'm gonna send you this. You gotta make this the, uh... The... The the thumbnail for this video. I'm not sure. You should pick one of these. I guess photos. I guess I'm supposed to. I, I'm not. One of those two pictures I just sent you. You gotta make the. Uh... Oh, Adam! Like I said, I'm filming a video right now, though. I'm saying. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to see their flashcards. So I'm not sure if I should. This was a waste of twenty dollars to put both boxes out of. Because it's, there's a picture of it on the back. So if I show you that, or if I tell you 440, you can see it. Um, okay, then I'll just won't look. I... I'll just, here, I'll do this. This is what I'll do. Okay. I'll just... <sighs> so, I guess all I'm going to say is, <laughs> you already know what that one is. You, this one you won't know because you haven't seen it yet. Well, maybe you were looking, but... I don't know, but let's try it anyway. Um, so this locomotive is a four six two. Years built nineteen oh two to nineteen forty eight. Manufacturers Alco, Baldwin, Lima, Santa Fe, Lima. Lima, Santa Fe, Baltimore, Ohio, Canadian Locomotive Co., Chicago Great Western, Milwaukee Road, Delaware and Hudson, Great Northern, Illinois Central, Lehigh Valley. Louisville and Nashville, New York Central, Norfolk and Western, Pennsylvania, Reading, Southern Pacific, Wabash. Operated on most railroads that offered any substantive. Substantive. Yep. <laughs> you heard me. Passenger service, name Pacific. Quantity, 75,000. Pennsylvania Railroad had the most with almost 700. Oh, there you go. Boiler pressure. So you know what it is, then? I think you're reading what it is right now. But do you know what it is? Yeah, I am reading what it is, but do you know what it is? A Pacific. Well, see, I'm not... See, I think I'm supposed to... Like, again, there's no instructions, so I guess like this is supposed to be done like by yourself. There's nothing on the box? No! Nothing! That's nice of you. Yeah. Um... Boiler pressure is at 200 PSI, known for moving passenger trains at speed. Status, many preserved and still, several still operable. So I guess, yeah, I don't know exactly what you're supposed to guess about it. Yeah, I think you're supposed to guess what it is. Okay, so what, judging off of what I just read you. Just because 462? Yes. <laughs> well, what I just described to you is a picture of. 425. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me see. Whoa, whoa. So, so, so why isn't it still blue like that? Or is it? They changed it's a different scheme now. That sucks, man, because this thing looked 
awesome. No, it's a lot better now. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna read you this one. And I so I guess when you just I guess when you give your answer, get very specific, like who's it currently is or the again, Bennett. This is let's say there are seventy five thousand of them. How am I supposed to get? Them? So all right, so it's a four six zero. Yearsville, 1850 to 1923. Manufacturers, Baldwin, Rogers, Illinois Central, Brooks, Alco, Pensy, Canadian Loco Co., among others. Operated on most major and some smaller roads in high-speed passenger service and or slow-speed freight service. Name, 10-wheeler, quantity, 16,000. Yeah, that's something you're starting to read there is, I believe, the answer. So The name? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Boiler pressure on 180 PSI, known for a popular, versatile locomotive used in freight, in passenger service, and in commuter service during its later years. Status. Summon... Well, hey, hang on. Let me read you this, and then i, I got to ask you a question. Status. Summon museums in several still operational, notably Nevada Northern 40, Chicago and Northwestern, right 1385. Now. Not Chicago and Northwestern what? Chicago and Northwestern, 1385. Not now. Oh, okay. So I, so my question is: out of these descriptors, years built, manufacturers operated on, name, quantity, boiler pressure, known for, and status. I think if I were to read you the status of it, oh, I farted. <laughs> I think if I were to read you the status of it and maybe the quantity and the name, could you then guess what it is? Because what this, like, guess what this is. If you need me to read it to you again, I can. It's a 10 wheel. What, what this is, is Nevada Northern 460. Oh, Nevada Northern 40, okay. Number 40, near uh, Ely, Ely, Nevada. Eli, okay. Ely. Nevada, and, and then it says who took the picture. So, out of years built, manufacturers operated on, name, quantity, boiler pressure, known for, and status. Out of those... Don't don't say the name, because that's going to tell me what it is. Okay, so no name. You want me to say, like, years built? Sure. Operated on? Okay. Boiler pressure? That's pretty much it. Okay. How about known for? Yeah, known for. Known for? Okay. Oh, okay, I'm not going to tell you who it's operated on. So what are we reading again? It's the... Pretty much anything but the name. Okay. So years built, 1901 to 1949. Now, do you want to know the wheel classification? No, because that's going to tell me what it is. Okay. But I'm going to tell you which railroad it operated on. Will it? I'm sorry if I'm going to guess that word. No. Just go. All right. Years built, 1901 to 1949. Uh, do you want to know the manufacturers? Yes. Okay. Alco, Baldwin, Lima, Lima, Canadian, Montreal, a few homemade. Do you want to know what it operated on? Yes. Every North American Railroad. Uh, you don't want to know the name. Do you want to know the quantity? Yes. 10,000. New York Central had almost 1,400. Yep. Uh, do you want to know what it was known for? Yes. Well-designed, smooth-running engine used mostly in freight service and some in passenger service. The status of it, some in museums and some are operating, including Southern Railway 4501 oh, in Tennessee. <laughs> Sioux Line 1003 1, 1, in Wisconsin. <laughs> Grand Canyon Railway 4960 16. in Arizona, among others. But... That's it. Yes, it is a Mikado, but do you know what locomotive this is? Like, who it ran for? How and am I supposed to know that? That's part of the trivia. How? No, nothing of what you said told me what it is. So, what this is, is. Is it 4501? Nope. Is it, ten, is it 1003? It is. It's the Sioux Line Mikado number 10,000, 1003 in Wisconsin. 1003. 1003, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> this is kind of AIDS. 
Yeah, and, and at least he didn't spend money on it. Um, years bill. <clears throat> 1906 to 1949. Manufacturers, Alco, Baldwin, Rooks. Those are the only three. Operated on railroads that hauled coal trains. Consolidation. Nope. Really? Nope. Railroads that hauled. <laughs> you were so confident, too. Railroads that hauled coal trains and other heavy trains needing maximum tractive oh, no. effort. Yeah, yeah, also true. used by some logging railroads in a tank engine version. Um, one other quantity? Yeah. 918. CNO had the most with 250. Okay. Yeah, I, I, when you said tank, some had tank engines. 2662 Malay. Yep, it is. 1309? It is! Chesapeake and Ohio number 1309 will run again. Maybe. It says, will run again, CNO Historical Society. I guess I could probably show you guys these as we're going through them. That's, this is the one that he just guessed correctly. Hey, see, so you're getting the hang of this. I don't know. I'm surprised that those are the only ones. Years built. 1934 to 1950. Manufacturers, Baldwin Locomotive Works, Norfolk and Western. Operated on Pittsburgh and West Virginia, Seaboard Airline, Baltimore and Ohio, and then Norfolk and Western. Toreto Mastodon. Nope. What? Nope. Quantity, 60. N&W had the most with 43. Known for high-speed freight and some passenger service. Status, only remain... Oh, oh, this part gave it away. Yeah, this will give it away. Want me to tell you what the status of it is? No. That's the cop. Did you hear that? Uh-uh. Yeah. Oh, I hear yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So this is what he's trying to guess, ladies and gentlemen. Where is the Norfolk and Western and the Seaboard? And the uh, Pittsburgh and West Virginia? Uh, Pittsburgh and West Virginia, Seaboard Airline, Baltimore and Ohio, Norfolk and Western. Who built this? Uh, who built this one? The, all of them. Um, oh, manufacturers. Baldwin Locomotive Works, Norfolk and Western. Well, if I tell you, if I tell you who the only one remaining is, it'll give it away. Oh, well then it has to be the last. Okay. Is there only one of them left? It's either that Years one. built, 1934 to 1950. And an A class. But it, the seaboard never had any. Do I know what it is? What? Do you want, do you want to know what it is? No, just don't say the name. Well... You're on the right track with what you just said. It's an A class. Yeah. It is an A class. Yeah. Twelve eighteen. Yep. Two six six four. Norfolk and Western. Seaboard. Norfolk and Western number twelve eighteen. Pools and excursion 1980, 1988. The C and the B and O. Yeah. What? It says. Uh, quantity sixty. N and W had the most with forty three. Uh, operated on Pittsburgh in West Virginia, Seaboard Airline, Baltimore and Ohio, Norfolk and Western. That's I, well, that's, that's kind of conveyed because. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this. Uh, oh well, yeah. he obviously knows what this is, and I actually do as well. Six no. no, no, six eleven. We we went through. Oh, we did. Yeah, but we didn't go over it because that was like the second one. Next. So <clears throat> you better get this one. Thirty-four. You better get this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just go. Years built, 1936 to 1947. Manufacturers, Alco, Baldwin. Operated on UP, Northern Pacific, Spokane, Portland. Portland and Seattle, it's a challenge. Yep. Um, Melbourne, Hudson. Quantity. Rio Grande, Clinchfield. Uh, what's on here is Delaware and Hudson, Western Pacific, Western Maryland, oh, West Denver and Rio Grande West. Western Maryland. Yeah. Denver and Rio Grande Western. Yeah. There's more than that. Quantity. 252. UP had the most with 105. Wow. Known for high-speed freight and passenger service. Status. UP. 3985. That's what it is. Has operated on excursions and on display since 1981. It is stored in Cheyenne, Wyoming, yeah. pending overhaul. It's 
<laughs> ending. That's not happening. I'd love to see it, but it's probably not going to happen. So you, so you guess what it is, correct? 3095. Yep, UP number 3095 pulled an excursion in Iowa in 2002. Actually, 4014's That's tender a... is actually 3985's tender. Really? Yeah. That, ladies and gentlemen, is it? They didn't, they didn't put a oil, an oil tank in 4014's original tender. They just used the 3095. Wow. All right. Years built, 1941 to 1944. Big war. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I knew I knew I was going to get through one. I knew you were going to guess it. Yeah, but what number, though? That's the true question. What? How many? Or no. What number is it showing? What number is this locomotive? Hang on. Let me see if you can guess it. Um, I'm just going to skip to the status of it. Yeah. Because pay attention to it. Yeah. Eight preserved, 4,004 in Cheyenne, Wyoming, 4,005 at Forney Museum in Denver, 4,006 at Museum of Transport in St. Louis, 4,012 at Steamtown in Scranton, PA, 4014 under restoration by UP, Yeah. 4,017 at National Railroad Museum in Green Bay, Wisconsin, 4018 at Museum of the American Railroad, Frisco, Texas, and 4023 at Lawrence Gardens, Omaha, Nebraska. I'm gonna guess then it's it's either gonna be 4014, 4012, or 4023. You were very close. I said 4012, I said 4014, and what did you say, 4023? Yeah. And I said 4023. There's one that you're missing. If you need me to read them again, I can. The numbers. 4017? Nope. 4007? Nope. 2004? Nope. I don't know. It's 4011. 4011? Big Boy number 4011 rolls west at Granite, Wyoming in 1956. I see. They don't even have a current picture. That's good. <laughs> How am I supposed to guess which one it is? Well, I was hoping that by, by me reading the ones that are on display would help narrow it down. Okay. This, is, this one should hopefully be a little bit challenging for you. Years built. 1941 to 48. Manufacturer, Lima. Operated on Chesapeake and Ohio in the Virginian. Allegheny, 2666. But, okay, you're right. Um, God, that's a fucking amazing deal. I just I gotta say that. Um, but, can Hard you guess which guess. locomotive it is and to who? Oh, God, I don't remember the numbers. Well, here. Like oh, here, 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 here. Status. Two are preserved in museums. Yeah, Henry. Number 1604 I knew at the... Were, okay, I knew they were the 1600 series. Number 1604 at the B&O Railroad Museum in Baltimore. And, and number 1601 at the Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan. I'll, I'll, it's probably... Whatever the ones at the B&O Museum are. It's not, it's not either of those two. It's not... Uh, but again, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? Because <laughs> if, if, if I'm telling you them, then it's not those. Not necessarily. They're the only two surviving. Most of these pictures are current pictures of ones that are still around. This one is. This one was taken in the 1940s. I will tell you that. I will tell you when this picture, when the picture was taken. Okay. I'm, I, in West Virginia in the 1940s. I can also tell you the location of it too. How many of them were produced? Sixty-eight. That was pulling that coal train on that O-scale layout that they had 1943 pulling those passenger cars today for the Amtrak. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that's what that was. Wow. Seeing it while I'm reading. Gotcha. Yeah. Let me tell you what it is. Give me the stats. All of them again? Is it a different car? No, 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 no. No, that's the same one. No, 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 no. Status. Two are preserved in museums. Oh, yes. Number 1604 at the B&O Railroad Museum in Baltimore. 1601 at the Henry Ford. Yep. Um, boiler pressure, 260. I thought they were two entirely different ones, but okay. Known for hauling freight on steep mountain grades of C&O in Virginian territory in Virginia and West Virginia. Yeah, they did. Very Quantity, well. 68. Operated on the Chesapeake in Ohio in Virginia. Manufacturer, Lima. Years built, 41 to 48. Would it help if I tell you which railroad it was? Yes, this is the CNO. I don't know what number. 
number 1622. That, ladies and gentlemen, is... Looks like a beautiful locomotive. That, Bennett, and also me, that's what we were just doing. Because that's the only one, those, the, you were the only two that I could really watch. Maybe yeah. you're right. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, maybe we're hanging out right now watching this. What's going on? Maybe. Hey, what's, up? <laughs> yeah. what's up, future self? Dude, also right now, go back and watch Backyard Football Game <laughs> 2021 World Series. Right now. I game, no, Game 2. Game that's 2. What I said. Game 2. Yeah. 2021 World Series. Yeah. Next. Uh, years built, 1890s to 1935. Manufacturer, Brooks, Rogers, Alco, Baldwin, and the Norfolk and Western. Operated on Jersey Central, Lackawanna, UP, Winston-Salem, Southbound, Winston-Salem, Southbound, Norfolk and Western, Delaware and Hudson, Great Northern, Northern Pacific, Illinois Central, Missouri Pacific, Southern Pacific, among others. Um, Did you say the Pennsylvania? No. Quantity, about 600. Norfolk and Western had the most, with 286 on the roster. Boiler pressure is at 180 PSI. Known for key freight locomotive displaced in the early 1900s by bigger power. Status. Several in museums. mm, It's going to give away. Okay, then I know what it is. Yeah. Two six zero mobile. No, it is not. Shit. It is not. No wait, hold on here. There's you say there's one operating. Is that what it says? But if I tell you where it's gonna go, don't tell me where. I'm not. It's gonna. If I tell you where it's gonna. Oh, that's true. There's another one. I didn't even think about that. Um. Read the river. Can we do it? Operated on Jersey Central, Lackawanna, UP, Winston Salem Southbound, Norfolk and Western. Delaware and Hudson, Great Northern, Northern Pacific, Illinois Central, Missouri Pacific, Southern Pacific, among others. If there's only 600 of them, that's not that. Now, I'm not sure how long ago these cards were made and stuff, so this might not be operational on this railroad anymore. But do you want me to tell you where the railroad is? Yeah. Several in museums, one in operation on the Strasburg Railroad in Strasburg, PA. If it's recent, then it would either have to be a decapod or a master one. It is one of those two. Well, then I'm going to say it. It is one of them. Huh. Which makes it a... 480. Yeah. 12, I didn't know that many railroads. 12-wheeler, but do you know what locomotive it is? Oh, 12-wheeler. Yeah, that's what it is. What? Do you know what locomotive it is? Probably 475. It is 475. Strasburg 480, number 475, pulls Taurus in Pennsylvania. You got it I correct. I thought Norfolk and Western was like the only one. Ooh, this one might be a little bit tough for you. This is easy. What'd you say? I thought the Norfolk and Western was really the only railroad that had that. And then whoever they sold them to, like the Avian State, Seaboard. Well, this one, like I said, might be a little bit tough for you. Okay. Years built, 1903 to 1931. Manufacturers, Baldwin, Lima, Brooks, Canadian, Montreal, China. Operated on... Burlington Route, the B and O, Wabash, Atlantic Coast Line, Baltimore and oh, I'm sorry, Boston and Albany, Duluth, Miss Bobby and Iron Man. Yep, Southern Railway it's among others. Four eighty two Mountain Pike. It is not. Damn. Quantity twenty two hundred. Santa Fe had the most with three forty two. Ah, then it's a two ten two. It is. Santa it is. Now, do you know? Now, if I tell you where this was, where this picture was taken, do you think it might help? Iowa. It was taken in Rock Island, Illinois. Okay. Now, do you know what railroad it is? Is it Iowa Interstate? It is. It's a Q uh, QJ. 
It's Iowa Interstate Chinese built 2102. QJ. I I guess that's a QJ. What is it? 6988. Um the uh it is 7081. Dude, that's the other one. Yeah, look. You got it right, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. That's all good. That's all they change it out. Yeah. The QJ. We keep going. Actually, there was a time where the Pennsylvania, they didn't get their, I'm pretty sure they didn't get their diesels in time. Okay. Or they were having, no, I think it was before dieselization. They were they're having a whole bunch of issues with their steam engines, and they were going through the back shop for them. The Pensy was? Yeah, so then they leased some some of those Santa Fe's from Santa Fe. Really? Yeah. Wow. That was pretty crazy, I'm sure, to see. All right. Yeah. Years built, 1911 to 1948. Manufacturers, Alco, Baltimore and Ohio, Lima, Canadian, Montreal. Operated on. Numerous large railroads requiring power for fast freight and passenger trains. 464 Hudson. It is not. What? <laughs> it is not. Talk about a... Ah. <laughs> um, quantity, 2,201. New York Central had the most with 600. Boiler pressure is at 200 PSI. Known for high-speed dual-service engine. Status. Uh, hang on, I'm going to make sure that this isn't... It is not this locomotive. A few have been preserved, but only one remains operational. Canadian National number 6060. Now, this picture was taken in Swedenborg, I guess Montreal, MO. No, Missouri. What MO is Missouri, right? MO is Manitoba. Oh, I wouldn't have gotten that. Yeah. In, in Swell, Swe. Sweet, Swedeborg, Swedeborg, M O. Probably in Canada. In 1994. Is it a? What's the railroad? New York Central. Uh, operated on numerous, uh, numerous large railroads requiring power for fast freight and passenger trains. Quantity, 2,201 with 600. It's not, is it, no. Guess. 444? No, but you're, the first one's right. First number of leading. 6060. Yeah. Passenger train station. If you have been preserved, but only one remains operational, CN number 6060. Oh, Canadian, I'm sorry, I'm thinking Canadian Pacific. <laughs> God. CM6. You look very comfortable, I just realized that. I am rather. <laughs> want, me to, want me to cover you up? No, it's inside. Okay. CN6060, well, the 6300 class was used on the Grand Trunk for World War U3. Um. Oh! If the New York Central had a whole bunch of them, that's got to be a mountain. No, man, yeah, mountain type. It is, which yeah. makes it a... 42. Yes. Now, New do York you know... Central, the Mohawks. Now, do you know what railroad this is in the picture? When's it from? 1994. Yep. Yeah. Is it a Pennsylvania M1? It is not. This is probably going to be difficult for you. I don't know what that is. It's Frisco number... 1522. It is 15... Why the fuck didn't I think of that? <laughs> it is 1522. Stupid. He got it. Why the fuck didn't I think of that? Well, he sort of got it. I'll give it to him. Idiot. My God. Alright. It's a sheen. Now, this one, you'll probably get pretty quick. Cause I, I should have thought about fucking... I love how this locomotive looks. Years built, 1924 to 1949. Manufacturers, Lima, Alco, Baldwin. Operated on multiple large railroads. Quantity, 611. CNO had the most with 130 on the roster in 1947. Boiler pressures at 240 PSI. Known for... What did you say? Yeah. Known for... 
high speed freight service, and superpower. Super I'm a superpower, baby! It's a 284 Merc. Um, it is. Yeah. But they also can be called Kanawa. For yeah, the Chesapeake and Ohio. Kanawa. Yeah. Now, do you know what locomotive this is? And, well, whose locomotive it is? Uh, Here. This might give it away. Hang on, let me make sure these aren't the... Um... Okay. I don't think this will give it away, but I'm going to give it a shot. Se status. Several in museum. Yes. Two are operational in the Midwest. Nickel plate number 765, 765 based in Fort Wayne. Paramark yet 1225 in Owasso, Michigan. Bingo! You said it word for word. I didn't have to read it. You got it just right. I do. I love how those look. Like, this looks... I badass. That's what it was gonna be, and then you said superpower limes. <laughs> I knew it from the fucking boiler. Pressure. <laughs> That's what I said. You're probably gonna get from this. the boiler pressure. Two hundred and forty psi. <laughs> was that high? No. Well, no. No, the high is uh, for, a, for an, a You're probably you're probably gonna get, you're probably gonna get this one too. Years built, nineteen oh nine to nineteen fifty. <clears throat> excuse me, two. Manufacturers Baldwin and the N and W operated on numerous railroads that required power to pull heavy freight trains up great. Two eight eight two Mallet. Um. Will there be a Y six? It is. It is a two eight eight two. Yes. Do you want me to tell you what the names of it are? Okay. It's a Chesapeake for the Chesapeake in Ohio. Yeah. And a Y for the Norfolk and Western. Yes. Will there be a Y3, Y6, Quantity. Y3? Quantity. 844. Five. Norfolk and Western had the most with 227. Yeah. For their pressure, 240 to 300 PSI. Known for powerful but slow freight locomotives yeah. that conquered mountain grades throughout the United States. Status. Hang on. I want to make sure. I can't. Oh. Oh. Okay, I can read this and it won't give it away. Status. Two are on display. 2156 on loan to the Virginia yeah, Museum Virginia of Transportation. From the National Railroad Transportation Museum. And 2050 at Illinois Railway Museum. Oh, that's a Y3. So you know what railroad it belonged to? Norfolk and Western. Yep. Do you know what number it is? Here, I'll tell you when and where. Um, oh, it's, 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 it's an old picture. Yeah, it pulls coal in Virginia in 1958. Hang on, let me... 2196. You're somewhat close. It's 2173. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah I, I, How you, the fuck am I supposed you, to know that? <laughs> you still got it. You still got it. Alright. This one might be a little bit tough for you. Years built. 1900 to 1909. Manufacturers. Rogers. Alco. Baldwin Burlington Route Shop Horses yeah. operated on Burlington Route, Santa Fe, Milwaukee Road, and Northern Pacific. Quantity 1,250 for common carriers, more for loggers and mining roads. Burlington Route had the most with 429. Boiler pressures at 200 psi, known for fast freight locomotive with drawbacks, such as being rear heavy and the two wheel lead truck being less than satisfactory for high speed running. Status. Oh. Uh, is it a two six two Prairie? It is. Okay. Um, this picture was taken in California in two thousand eight. Oh, it's is it uh no, that's not if I pull something. What do you think it is? Uh, McLeod River 26, 8, You're very close with 26. It's 25. But you're exactly on the money, McLeod, McLeod River. Oh, okay. Number 25. Dude, that's fucking incredible, man. Like, that is really incredible. Like, that's insane. All right. On we go. Oh, this looks... This I think that looks, is now in Washington. This looks like a cool-ass locomotive. Years built, 1852 to 1929. Manufacturers, Lima, Southern Pacific, Baldwin, 
Pennsylvania Railroad, others, operated on Chicago and Western Indiana, was all one, the B&O, Green Bay and Western, Boston, uh, Boston and Maine, Southern Pacific, Canadian National, and Short Lines. Quantity, 8,000. Canadian National had the most with 469. Nice. Boiler pressure, 205 PSI. Known for pulling medium-sized freight trains on main lines, along with being an excellent engine for short lines due to its light weight on the lighter short line rails. Wait, what did you say it was? I didn't say what it was. No, 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 Known no, no, for? no, no. Uh, uh, Canadian National had the most? Oh, Canadian National had the most with 469. Then I'm going to guess it's a 260 Mobile. That is exactly what it is. Okay. Now, they can also be called the Valley Mallet. Now, do you know, here, I'll tell you, um, at La Vida Pass, Colorado in 2007, sorry about the interruption. Oh, shoot. I don't remember what number that was. Here. It's on the Rio Grande Scenic. I can tell you that. Status. Several preserved, some operational. Including 89 at Stratosphere. That's what this is? No. Well, no, I'm, I'm saying... Oh, that's it's the same type, yeah. Wow. Um, I don't remember what number. It's on the same... It's the same lead sin at this color. Whatever. Well, do you want me to tell you what locomotive this... Or which railroad this belonged to at the time or whatever? Is it the Rio Grande Scenic? It is. Yeah. I don't remember what number it was. Number... It, 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 it operated in tandem with number 18. Number 1744. You still, you still got it. I don't remember what it was. Oh, now we're getting to string into some, some uh, diesel power here. Oh, really? Well, on the next one, not this one. Oh. Um, I didn't know that was in there. Me neither. Uh, years built. 1924 to 1933. Okay. Manufacturers. Baldwin, Canadian. Operated on Alabama, Tennessee, and Northern. Durham, and Southern. Georgia, Florida, and Alabama, Seaboard Airlines, Great Western, Gainesville, Maryland, Woodward Iron Two Co. Two decapods. Yep. Now, it can also be called the Russian decapod. Yes, because... Quantity. 22 light decapods for American railroads. 1,057 for the Russian government. 857 were shipped before the Russian yep. Revolution in 1917 resulted in cancellation of the order which left 200 engines stranded in the United States. And then the U.S. already split them up from a bunch of all different railroads. Boiler pressure, 190, known for high tractive effort on light rails. Status. Hang on, let me make sure. There's only one currently out. No, two currently out. Okay, operating. hang on. Several preserved, Stra uh, Strasburg 90, 90 and, and... Frisco 1630 at the Illinois Railroad in Union, Illinois. Bingo! You got it completely right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, that's, that's seriously, like, fucking insane, man. You got it exactly right. God, that's amazing. All right, first diesel electric. Years built, 1939 to 1945. Manufacture. electro Electromotive Corp. Operated on Santa Fe Atlantic Coast Line, B and O Boston and Maine, Chicago and Northwestern Burlington Route, Rock Island Rio Grande Erie Great Northern Lehigh Valley Milwaukee Road Missouri Pacific Northern Pacific Southern Cotton Belt, Seaboard Airline Western Pacific among others. And this is going to be hard for you to get the name of this exactly, but you do know your stuff. Quantity: five hundred and fifty-five FTA. And 541 FTB. Horsepower, 1,350. You just told me what it is. I said it already. It's an FT. That's not the name of it. Not, not according to this, at least. Known for... Well, the name... I'll, I will say this. The name is kind of like a saying or a slogan. Known for first commercially successful road diesel locomotive. Status. Originally demonstrator locomotive number... Hang on, let me make sure I don't say it. Yeah, I already said it. Um, 
at the Museum of Transport in St. Louis. I would have said that. I don't know what they call them. All I knew of this was the FT. It's an FT demonstrator number on display at Museum of Transport. Now, it doesn't say when it was. Well, that was the test with the green lights. Do you know what it is? It's like EMBT. EMBT. It's FT demonstrator number 103. And the name of it is, quote, the diesel, it's not quoted, but that's what I'm going to say. The diesel that did it. Sure. Yeah, okay, so he wouldn't have gotten that one. I said it was an FT, though. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm saying, but the, the name, of, according to this, at least. You never, ever heard that before. That's, now, this one you should probably get. Years built, 1961 to 1963. In fact, I might yeah. get this one. Manufacturers, EMD, GMD. Operated on most Class 1 railroads, notably Chesapeake and Ohio, Burlington Route, Chicago Northwestern, Denver Rio Grande Western, Great Northern, Louisville and Nashville, Milwaukee Road, Pensy, Santa Fe, Seaboard Airline, Cotton Belt, Sioux Line, Southern, Southern Pacific, Union Pacific. Quantity, 948. 906, I guess to the U.S., 2 Canadian built, and 40 B units. Horsepower, 2,250. Uh, this might be a little less. Known for contour on top of hood and pronounced blister covering dynamic braking resistors and part of centralized air system. You know what it is? Two conversions. Yeah. <laughs> Status, several still operating on short lines and tourist roads. No, actually, some in class one circuits. CSX. Now. Now, well, do, now do you know? Now do you know what this? Slugs. Now do you know what this is in the picture, though? Is it a current, more current picture? Or uh, I don't picture? know. Picture. So it was taken at North Carolina Transportation Museum. Oh, then it's uh, Southern Twenty Five, whatever. You're close. Southern Number Twenty Six Oh One. Oh, Twenty Six. Okay. Yeah. He's right. <laughs> Why can't he see? I, I was about to say. I, I figured you would probably get it with the GP Thirty. You said blister. That gives me. I think that they were only produced for two years, though. Yeah. Yeah, the UP were the only ones to get these. I oh, I'm sorry. I probably showed you guys that. They were rather awesome. Um, years built 1946 to 1950. Manufacturer Alco. Uh, operated on Santa Fe, Denver, and Rio Grande Western, Erie, Gulf, Mobile, and Ohio, Lehigh Valley, Missouri, Kansas, Texas, Missouri Pacific, New Haven. Nickel Plate, New York Central, Pensy, Cotton Belt, Southern Pacific, UP, Wabash. Quantity, 208, 169 nice A units, and 39 B units. Horsepower, 2,000. Known for, eh, this might give away. Known for unique profile and elongated nose. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know exactly which, if it's the... the... Well, here, I want to make sure I don't give it away. If it's okay. the, the four axle or the six axle. Okay. I'm going to say, I'm going to stop before I say it. Privately owned unit under restoration as blank. And then the other one is Santa Fe number 59 under restoration in Frisco, in Frisco Texas. Yep. You know what it is? Okay, so then it's the six axle. It's the, uh, what were those? These were the, no, those weren't, were those the PAs? Yep. PA what though? PA one, yeah. Okay. Now, do you know what this is in the picture of? The only one around is oh, it's nickel plate nine hundred. Mm, you're very close with the nine, and it is nickel plate. Yeah, it's it's in Seattle. It's nickel plate nine is in the number, but it's not the first number in the three digit number. Eight, is it eight oh one or something? No, I don't know what it is. Nickel plate one ninety. Oh, one ninety. Calls the Oregon Rail Heritage Oregon, not Center home. Yeah, it's it's in the it's it's, it's always side by side with that and forty four forty nine the day length. And really? It says Spokane, Portland, Seattle seven hundred. Yeah. We should try and get that there sometime. See if that. Um. This this looks cool. Years built nineteen nineteen forty eight to fifty three. Manufacturer Baldwin. Operated on the B and O, New York Central, Pensy, uh, the in the EJ and E. Quantity. Oh shit! I 
Okay, keep going. Quantity, 187 total A and B units combined. Oh, Horse, nice. Horsepower, 1600 for RF-16. You just told me what it is. I RF-16 did. sharp nose. I didn't know the EJ and Eber had any of those, though. Yeah. But I didn't tell you what it is, though. Uh, two, uh, status. Two D, uh, D&H so, units, is, former New York Central, the, stored... The, the Lake Superior RNS combined. Yep, yep. But you know what they are now? They're RF-16s. New York Central RF-16s. Okay. At West Detroit, 1961. Right. I didn't know the EJ&E got some of those. 